Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for the week of March the 13th to the 19th of 2017. So Monday and Tuesday, we do have the moon in Libra and that's activating your seventh house of relationships, marriage, business partnerships. So being a bit more fair, um, sometimes it's um, because Libra is your opposite sign. Sometimes you can be a bit uh, critical and sometimes indecisive about our relationships or um, marriages at this time. So uh, we do have the nine of wands in reverse. We have the six of pentacles. And then we have the ten of pentacles clarifying uh, the ten of swords in reverse. So I do see here that some of you may be um, in a generous kind of mode. You may be receiving something from someone. You could be around friends and family. Maybe this is stemming from the weekend uh, where you're receiving something from a friend. Uh, family and relatives may come over to maybe offer some food, a gathering. You may go out for a drink or something like that. Or a party or something may come to you because um, you do see the pinnacles here. Some of you may be moving. Okay, You could have just recently moved and someone is coming to, um, over for a housewarming or something of that nature. Okay, But I do see with that nine of wands there in reverse and the ten of swords, it does look like there's a sense of being paranoid. Some of you may feel restricted. Uh, some of you may be feeling claustrophobic, even though you are around friends and family. Um, and this may have something to do with commitment and relationship because there is some kind of healing that's taking place. And you could be um, around a significant other or there's something that you may be hiding here in the situation. And that's why I do see the Nine of Wands in reverse and then the Ten of Swords. So something is going on. It could be some text messages. It could be just uh, something that's going on with you physically, uh, mentally as well. But I do see some giving and sharing taking place uh, Monday and Tuesday, which is uh, very good. So look out for something that you may receive. All right. Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Friday, we do have the Moon. Well, Wednesday through Friday, we have the Moon in Scorpio. And that's activating your eighth house of death transformation dealing with the legal matters that may pop up joint resources with your partner okay your marriage partner or current partner or potential and sexual desires they may be peaked at this time possibly or fears around sexual interactions if you do um, have any kind of uh, insecurities and things like that they may crop up at this time there's a lot of healing going on with that eighth house so we do have here the Ten of Wands is in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Also, the Lover's card is in reverse. So a lot of reversals. You do have two uh, Wands energies. So that is about energy and um, passion and desire. And sometimes you may be feeling depleted. You may be feeling a bit high strung energetically. Um, not really wanting to work at the time. Some of you could be um, out of work. Whatever work that you may be doing, you could be bored with it, not putting enough energy and drive into, uh, you know, if sometimes you may be working at something and oftentimes you may be trying to perfect it so much. And then if you do that and if it's not going the way that you want to, you may get very frustrated uh, to some degree. Some of you may be dealing with another fire sign, a Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and then a Gemini as well. But the lovers is in reverse. So you could be. Say if uh, you're dealing with two different partners, okay? Some of you could be in a three-way situation where there's uh, conversations coming to you um, or something that you're doing. It's something, some kind of blockage that may be going on with the third party. And if someone is being very critical of you, um, if there's something that's not being able to be handled or addressed, you may be feeling overburdened. You may be feeling overwhelmed by what's going on. If it's something that you need to release and let go of, if it's a relationship, a marriage, where someone has already spoken for in a marriage or relationship, the lover's card is in reverse. So whatever situation that is, you have to kind of let it go. Oftentimes, the lover's in reverse can mean that the love is there, but the mutual understanding and compatibility or cooperation between the two partners right now is not in harmony. So there could be some blockages there. Um, and that is Wednesday through Friday. So just make sure that you try to, um, you know, um, rejuvenate, try to recharge, try to let go of any situation that you know that you can't control. If it is kind of confusing, this could be someone from your uh, present moment, could be someone from your past for a lot of you out there. But um, there is some kind of laziness, being bored or restricted, and then kind of just letting something go that you can't um, kind of cope with at this time. Okay, so that is uh, Wednesday through Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we have the moon in Sagittarius, and it's activating your ninth house of mental exploration, higher learning, 
uh, the wanderlust may be activated in you where you want to travel and get about, you know, long distance travel. So that could be on your mind. So here we do have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have extra cards here to clarify some of the energy. We have the World in reverse as a major arcana, the Page of Swords in reverse, and then the Three of Cups in reverse. So it does look like you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or another fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and an air sign is here as well. Um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? But I do sense here that some of you may be not paying attention to obligations and chores and things at home as the weekend is unfolding you may be kind of up late at night you could be drinking you could be indulging in different drugs smoking whatever it may be um and there could be some thoughts on your mind with a lack of closure with respect to the past and it could be a lot of uh, frustration coming from you where you're not able to kind of move forward in a certain situation because I see three people here that are kind of turned towards one another or in competition with one another. Then you have the Three of Cups in the reverse position. So there could be some kind of gossip going on with these three people. It could be a mother, their two children. It could be a husband and the wife and their child. It could be just two romantic partners and you and another person or outside parties that's going on. So there's a lack of sleeping and rest that's um, possibly had throughout the weekend because you may be staying up at night for whatever reason that is so um, there is just a lack of closure maybe there's um you're not able to reach out to this person because of uh, travel okay you may be a long distance apart from one another you're not able to kind of meet up you really don't want to be bothered with the world um, because of some kind of gossip or someone is telling some kind of lies this may be coming from you it could be coming from other individuals but you have to kind of relate that to what is possibly going on with you in this situation so I do see that there's some sexual frustration there. There's a lot of um, possible intoxication. So watch whatever you may be overindulging in. Just kind of um, pull that back some so you're not uh, depleting yourself um, throughout the week when you do go back to work or if you are looking for work because uh, that Capricorn Virgo at Taurus is not very happy. They're very suspicious. Um, the Knight of um, Swans is in reverse. Is someone who's a, a bully at times. They're uh, very... Um, oftentimes looking to start trouble they may say certain things to others to kind of start squabbles and things because attention may not be coming their way so um, whoever you may be dealing with and this is if this is coming from you you have to kind of watch that so you can find closure with respect to the energies that you are facing right here so um, there does seem to be three people so um, that may relate to your situation so that is the weekend a lot of heavy energy there but I feel like you'll be able to face it and there's a lot of healing going on here so uh, let's get into um, some extra cards that I did pull for you and I we will tap into that now and from during virtue romance angels we do have some clarifying cards for your energy and they are very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay so some of you may be indecisive about a partnership or relationship some of you may be single and looking and seeking a certain partner someone that's qualified for you or vice versa someone that you mesh very well with do we do have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so this is maybe an attachment to a relationship control in a relationship substance abuse when it comes to you and your partner remember we was mentioned that about uh, throughout the weekend if you are overindulging and trying to you know need to kind of face that and be honest with yourself if that's something that you're addicted to it could be any kind of desire where you know it's not healthy okay and then we do have religious factors it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so here it could be um, a different spiritual affiliation uh, your certain beliefs it could be a different background than you are with a certain person and it may not seem like they are the one for you uh, it could be many different things where religion could come up in your relationship. So uh, those are your messages for the week. And I do hope that these messages resonated with your situation. If you would like a private reading where we can tap into your specific energy and situation, as these are general in nature, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be right for you. Much love and much light. I hope you have a great week.